What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. This is the second day in the life video in my video series. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, I do encourage you to go check them out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, so if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. And today I'm starting GP at around 8.45 in the morning. So I'm gonna aim to leave here at about 7.45, 8 a.m. Currently about 10 past seven and I'm super excited. I absolutely love my GP days. Uh, it's one of my favorite days during the week. My GP day is very different. Uh, we normally start around 8.45. Uh, sometimes we do start at uh, like 7 a.m., sometimes at 7.30 a.m. It, really it really does vary. And what we do in each GP session is very different. Uh, but normally around 8.45 a.m. to around 11.45 a.m., we have a morning teaching session. We discuss different topics. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna talk about today, but I will let you know after. Around 11.45, we normally have lunch as well. And after lunch, we can either join the GP in the clinic, we can sit in with one of the nurses and take some blood from patients, uh, we can also give some vaccinations. We can also change bandages and provide some dressings to the patients if they need it. Um, and yeah, GP days are just very varied, very fun. And there might also be some patient home visits we can go and do. Uh, so GP days are very varied, are so much fun and I honestly can't wait to start. So I'm just about to have breakfast, uh, get ready and then head to the station. So I'll see you guys very soon. Right, what's going on guys? Um, I'm now here at London Bridge. I've just finished a GP. I had a patient visit today. Um, so we were in the GP in the morning. We had a few hours of teaching and then we had lunch and then after that we went to see a few patients at home. But now I'm at the train station and I'm on the way home. Uh, but I'll catch up with you guys when I finally get home and tell you about the day and tell you how the home visit went because it was really actually, um, it was really fun actually. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Right guys, so it's now 2.50 p.m. and I'm finally back home. The weather's rubbish outside as it normally is in the UK. I'm finally glad to be back in my room. Uh, but today was actually a really good day. I had so much fun in the GP. I'd love to take you guys into the GP with me, um, but unfortunately, because of legal reasons, I'm not allowed to film the GP because all the patients are there. Uh, but to give you a quick run through the day, uh, I, started day off, I started the day off at 8.45 a.m. Um, so all of us showed up. There's about 12 of us um, who are assigned to one GP. Um, so we sit in a room with the GP and we normally have a morning teaching session. The morning teaching sessions normally vary and it depends on what the medical school wants to teach us. This morning we talked about care plans. Uh, so care plans are basically uh, a type of plan, um, a type of treatment plan that you make with the patients who are suffering from chronic conditions or palliative care, which is also known as end of life care. And it's a way of working with the patients to let them know uh, what they should do in certain situations in terms of the medication. So for example, if someone who's suffering from uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, they need to know what to do when their COPD gets exacerbated. So we spent about the first hour talking about that. Then after that, we spoke about um, how to address the topic of uh, death of patients. Um, so patients who are uh, very, very ill or pa patients who are elderly, we're, we're discussing about how to broach the topic of um, you know, talking about their death, um, how to speak about arranging a funeral, uh, whether or not they want to be resuscitated um, and where they want to die. So that's quite a difficult topic to manage with patients, but as doctors, that's something that is absolutely necessary for us to learn. So we had that, and then straight after that, we had about a 10, 15 minute break uh, where, one of, where one of my friends uh, in the GP actually made a cake for us. So we've had a number of birthdays recently. My birthday's coming up next week as well. So we cut the cake, uh, we all had a piece of cake and chatted for around 10, 15 minutes. Then after that, we had a chat about contraception. Uh, so when to give contraception, uh, which types of contraception to offer to patients and everything to do with contraception. Uh, so after that, it was lunchtime. So I walked to Tesco Express with a few of my friends. I uh, got the usual meal deal. Uh, came back to GP and ate real quick. Then after lunch, me and my clinical partner went off on our home visits. Um, one of the things I love about the GP is that it's so varied. And one of the things I love about medicine in general, in general is that it's so, so varied. So today we went on home visits uh, to go and see patients in their actual house. These are usually patients who can't come to GP themselves. So it tends to be patients who are very old, um, you know, very elderly, who suffer from conditions that keep them in the house. And, and make it you know very hard for them to come to GP to see the GP. Some of my friends also went to sit in the clinic with the GP, so they went to see some patients in the GP itself. Last week I was in the GP clinic as well, and I was giving vaccines to patients, so that was really cool as well. Uh, some weeks I sit in with the nurses, 
uh, song weeks. I see them the healthcare practitioners and I help them bandage patients. So GP day is very varied, which is why I love it so much. Um, the best thing about medicine is literally like one day you can be uh, dissecting a human in the morning. In the afternoon, you'll be like on a placement. That's what I love about medicine and it's so, so varied. Um, so in terms of the home visit, we normally go visit patients in the local area. Um, so our patient was only about a 10 minute walk away. So we went to visit them, uh, we had a chat with them. And it's a really nice time just to get to know the patient and make sure that they're managing their condition really well. So the patient we saw today uh, was quite an elderly patient. Uh, and the main thing for him is that he had a wife who suffered from Alzheimer's. Um, so she had very severe dementia um, and, she was, and he was struggling to look after her because you know, she's old, um, she's very forgetful. Um, she can't you know, hold conversations for longer than two minutes because she forgets what you're talking about. It's very hard for him to look after his wife. Um, so being able to talk to him about his experience was um, amazing. Uh, the patient himself also had a number of conditions. So we just speak to him making sure that his conditions was being managed and that he was dealing with, and he was dealing with his condition all right. Um, his daughter actually showed up, so we had a nice conversation with his daughter. We got to meet his family, uh, which is amazing. The patient also needed our help, um, so he had a catheter put in, which is basically a tube that's inserted into his urethra, allowing him to pee. Uh, because the week before that, he wasn't able to pee, so he had urinary, urinary retention and wasn't able to pee. So the doctors came in and inserted uh, a catheter to allow him to pee. But the problem the patient had was that he wasn't able to connect his main uh, catheter bag uh, to a night bag. Because obviously when you sleep, you're not able to go to the toilet as frequently. So he needed to connect um, his main bag to a second bag, um, but he wasn't so sure how to do it. Uh, so, we, so me and my partner came in, uh, we managed to solve the problem and teach him how to use his extra catheter bag. Um, so that was really nice as well because you know, I managed to make a difference and I managed to help the patient out so that he won't have to wake up during the nights um, to change his bag. So that was so much fun. Um, as I said, it's around 3 p.m. right now and I want to keep it real with you guys and I want to be honest with you. Uh, on the way home, I stopped by Krispy Kreme and got myself um, a Krispy Kreme uh, original glazed donut. And I'm gonna have that with coffee right now or with tea. Uh, I can't wait to just munch on that. It is a medical channel. I don't promote. I don't promote having donuts, but it's just something that I really wanted to have. Um, so I'm gonna munch on that donut right now uh, with a coffee. I'm gonna chill and watch some YouTube or something for around 10-15 uh, minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna have a 20-minute nap. Um, I only had around six hours sleep last night because um, I was working. Then I went to meet a friend. I didn't get home till around uh, midnight, and then I had to wake up at 6:45 this morning. So I'm gonna have a nap after that. I know I sound really old right now, but I need to have that afternoon nap. Um, and then after the nap, I'm gonna get back to work. So I'll probably work for around two hours or until I get bored. And then after that, I'll probably head to the gym, um, have a quick workout and uh, just make a plan for tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and I'll speak to you guys very soon. So I just spent a couple of minutes looking for different research funding uh, for my research in summer. Uh, this summer, I'm actually going to Asia. I'll be in Asia for four weeks doing a bit of research there as well. Um, so I looked into that. Um, I'm also snacking on some crisps right now uh, while I watch lecture. Um, so this is one of the online lectures we've had during the week. Um, I didn't have time to watch it during the week, so I'm just watching it now. This lecture is on meningitis. Um, so on this screen over here, um, I have the lecture playing. So the actual recording is playing here. And then um, right over here, I've got the slides out. I have a slides out on OneNote, which is what I use to make all of my notes uh, while I'm watching a lecture. So the lecture is about 50 minutes long. I'm going to spend 50 minutes on this and then probably go on to making some more notes um, of some lectures that we had during the week. Uh, so that's the plan for now. Right, so it's now 7 p.m. and I've been revising for quite a while. And again, I'm getting pretty bored. Uh, so I just messaged one of my friends, Rahul, and he's down to play some table tennis. Uh, so I'm gonna put my food in the oven quickly. And while my food's cooking, I'm gonna head downstairs, play some table tennis, hopefully beat him, um, and come back, have dinner, and then probably head to the gym. So I'll see you guys very soon. So for dinner today, I'm gonna be making um, chicken wings, uh, rice, and salad. If you're a student, this is such a cheap meal to make. Um, I think it costs like £1.50 per meal. Uh, it's really quick as well, so it saves a lot of time. I'll show you guys how to make it really quickly as well. Okay, so the first thing I do is add uh, some soy sauce. I'm gonna add some pepper. Then some honey as well. Then some ground ginger as well. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave that in the oven for about uh, half an hour at 180 degrees. I'm gonna go play table tennis and hopefully when I come back, it should be nice and crispy. So we'll see how it goes. I've got to say that it's kind of called um, like Asian honey wings, um, something like that. So yeah, it's really cheap. It's really easy to make. It takes like five, 10 minutes to do it. 
Um, and it's also quite healthy actually because it's chicken, rice and vegetables. So it is really healthy. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a few minutes. What have we got there, mate? Oh, <laughs> peanut butter and rice cakes. Wow. Gotta keep the macros up. <laughs> Ready to get smashed. I don't know if we're going to win again. Mate, who won last time? Yeah, fair enough. Sorry. I dislike you. Sorry? I dislike you. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wow. So you'll be glad to be on the other one. That one person. I want to build you up. I'm going to pick you apart. Let me see the dark sides as well as the bright. I'm going to love you inside out. Right, so it's now 7.45 p.m. Uh, table tennis is done, that was really fun. Um, I actually met a subscriber as well, so that was really cool. And now it's time to finally hit the bar. Um, and by bar, I mean the bars in the gym, like the lifting bars, because it's time to hit the gym. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna walk to the gym. I live about 10 minutes away from the gym, which is really ideal. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head to the gym. Even though I'm really hungry, I'm gonna have a quick workout and then come back and have dinner and just chill for a bit. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, and before I leave, I'm just going to make myself a quick pre-workout as well because I'm super tired. So let's get that done. So got my pre-workout. So today, because I'm really tired, I'm going to have uh, one full scoop. And I also take creatine, by the way, guys. Um, so I take creatine as well. Um, if you want any of these products, I'll leave a link in the description for my protein code. So instead of pre-drinks tonight, I'm swapping pre-drinks for a pre-workout. And it, does, it tastes much better than alcohol, so that's always a positive. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Right, so it's now 10 p.m. Uh, and I'm finally back to the gym. I had a really good workout. Again, I don't normally eat this late, I promise. Because I wanted to work out and I wanted to uh, play some table tennis with my friend, I ended up eating late again, but it's okay because it's a Friday, so I don't need to be up that early tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's 10 p.m. and I need to show you guys the final product. Um, so that's the final product, the chicken, rice, and salad. I know it makes me look really lazy, um, but it's a Friday and I just couldn't be bothered. I'm very tired. So it's either this or I order takeaway. <laughs> and this is very quick. Very easy, um, and it's really healthy as well. So I was like, KFC or this, I'm gonna go gym. So I managed to force myself to have a better option. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly munch on this. I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy. Uh, one of my friends really got me into Grey's Anatomy, so I'm gonna watch that while I eat. And then after that, I'm gonna chill for a bit. Because we went out last night, tonight's gonna be like a more of a chilled night. And then tomorrow night, we'll probably go out. So tonight, I'm just gonna play some uh, Xbox with my friends, uh, go on Skype, have a nice Skype chat with them, uh, catch up with my old friends, um, you know, play some zombies. And yeah, that should be the rest of the night. So I might put some game clips of us playing zombies. I literally used to spend like half my life on zombies when I was like 16, 15, 16. So yes, yeah, so that is my day, guys. Uh, I want to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for watching. Oh God, my arm is really, really hurting after the gym and holding this heavy camera. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys spending your time with watching my video today. Let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know if you have any suggestions of any videos you want me to make. This video is actually voted by you guys on my Instagram. So go check my Instagram out. Uh, my Snapchat as well. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, please, and make sure you subscribe if you did like the video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog, which I think will be my day in the life uh, on a Monday. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. How you come uh, behind you, behind you, let's go around. Yeah, you're not gonna go get.
ಇದೆ